Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, I'm solving this interesting question from Putnam Math Competition using contradictions, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is, let this function f from 0 to infinity go into real number be a strictly decreasing continuous function that limit x is going to infinity, f of x is equal to 0. Then we need to prove that since the integral from 0 to infinity, f of x minus f of x plus 1, over f of x dx diverges. So for this question, let me use contradiction. So suppose for contradiction, that this integral from 0 to infinity, f of x minus f of x plus 1 over f of x dx does not diverge. Okay, then let me call this integrand, this f of x minus f of x plus 1 over f of x. Let me call this integrand as just a g of x, right? So let g of x as f of x minus f of x plus 1 over now f of x. Okay, then we can easily say this g of x should be greater than or equal to 0. Okay, then let's solve for this f of x plus 1, right? Then your g of x times f of x is equal to f of x minus f of x plus 1. So that is why this f of x plus 1, okay, f of x plus 1 has to be the same as f of x parenthesis 1 minus g of x. Okay, then from this, let's fix x as x naught. So fix x as x naught. Okay, then using this expression, we can talk about how f of x naught plus 1 is equal to f of x naught times 1 minus g of x naught. And then f of x naught plus 2. This is the same as f of x naught plus 1 times 1 minus g of x naught plus 1. Okay, then we can talk about how for all n, that is integer, that is also positive. We can talk about how this pattern will continue. So your f of x now is naught plus n. This is going to be equal to f of x naught times 1 minus g of x naught. And so on, all the way up to 1 minus g of x naught. Now plus n minus 1. Okay, then let's recall that we're supposing this integral. from 0 to infinity of g of x dx does not diverge. This is what we're supposing, right, for the contradiction. Then we can say your g of x will go to 0 as your x is going to infinity. And of course, your g of x should be greater than 0. So now we can come up with two particular functions. They're both decreasing function and continuous. One of them, I'll be coming up with this y is equal to, say, e to the power of negative 2x. The other one, let me make up a linear function that is 1 minus x. They're both decreasing function, and then they're both continuous. Okay, so let me put this on the graph. x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, so e to the power of negative 2x, it is looking just like this. And 1 minus x, it should be looking just like that.
Okay, so looking at this graph that we can say if x is greater than 0. And then if you keep x as small, right? We can easily say this 1 minus x is now greater than or equal to e to the power of negative 2x. So that is why from this, we can say 1 minus g of x naught is going to be greater than or equal to e to the power of negative 2 g of x naught. So that's why we may assume that for all x that is greater than 0, then your g of x will remain small too. Okay, then finally using this expression, we can talk about how f of x naught plus n. Okay, this has to be greater than or equal to f of x naught okay, times e to the power of, say, negative 2 times g of x naught. Okay, times all the way up to e to the power of negative 2 of g of x naught plus n minus 1. Okay, then the right hand side is the same as now f of x naught times e to the power of negative 2, let me make a bracket, of g of x naught plus all the way up to g of x naught plus n minus 1. And then close your bracket. So the sum in the exponent is about the same as integral from x naught to x naught plus n minus 1 of g of, say, y dy. So that's why using this expression, we can say um, f of x naught plus now n. This has to be greater than or equal to f of x naught times e to the power of negative 2 times integral from x naught to x naught plus n minus 1 of g of y dy. Okay, so as n goes to infinity, We can say f of x naught plus n is now greater than or equal to f of x naught times e to the power of negative 2 times integral uh, from x naught to infinity of g of y and dy. Okay, so what this means is your f of x is not going to 0. So that's why this is a contradiction, which means this integral from 0 to infinity, this g of x that we call this f of x minus f of x plus 1 over f of x dx should diverge. So pretty interesting question from Putnam math competitions. I'll be back soon.